you want a low temperature and you just kind of want to, to keep it bubbling two or three minutes. Inside how I've got those rocks in there. I'm going to get these biscuits ready. I guess it's important for the butter to be real cold. I'm just letting these tabs of butter drop into my uh, bag of flour. So I've got one cube of butter and I've got uh, two and a half cups of flour. I just kind of knead that flour and just push the flour into the butter. Two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and probably about a tablespoon of sugar. Seal it up and give that a little mix. So now that that's mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and put in my egg. My one egg. So here's my milk. Let's go ahead and get that mixed together. Yeah, I think this consistency might work out pretty good. I've got a piece of tin foil that's folded in half in the bottom. And uh, I'm just going to spread some oil out here. And I don't want this to be too thick. So I'm just going to do a little something like that. And the hot coals on top, so I've got my milk heating up here. I'm trying to just move kind of nice and easy with my milk. I don't want to burn it. I think my milk is hot enough. I'm going to go ahead and put my roux back in. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my biscuits and let's see what we have. Hey, look at that. That actually looks really nice. Oh, and look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's crack this open and see if it's cooked all the way through. And it is definitely cooked all the way through. Look at that. It's just flaky and beautiful. I'm really proud of myself. Break this up right into my gravy. This is going to be really good. Okay, I'm going to get some salt into my gravy. Wow, I'm looking forward to this. Mmm.